All right, this just into CNN a few minutes ago. Terrorists kidnapped eight more girls in Nigeria. A witness telling CNN that armed men stormed the village overnight and took these girls from their homes. This, of course, comes just three weeks after more than 200 girls were taken at gunpoint from their boarding school. This happened in the, the northern area of Nigeria. The leader of the terrorist group, Boko Haram, has gone public with his horrific and outrageous plan to sell the girls. They would likely be forced to become sex slaves or child brides. Dr. Chino Nwangu is founder and publisher of U.S. Africa Multimedia Networks, and he's joining us now from Houston. Dr. Nwangu, thank you for joining us. I, I think that most of us, or as all of us, are astounded to hear that even more young girls have been kidnapped. And it makes us wonder, is the Nigerian government capable of stopping this terror group? The information minister announced the creation of a fact-finding committee. A committee doesn't seem strong enough or decisive enough. Michaela, I agree entirely with you. The, the approach to hardliners, a fundamentalist, is not to draw up a committee and announce a committee, but to go out with what I call the oppression, iron fist, to materially inoculate and defeat them in order to ensure the safety of the children. And the more they have opportunities to kidnap, the more kids that they will take. And it's, it's, it's unfortunate that um, uh, the government uh, has not risen up adequately to the challenge of uh, Islamic fundamentalist uh, terrorism in Nigeria. Dr. Nwango, there is a bit of an international outcry now, and so many people are pressuring the United States government, other governments, to try to provide support to Nigeria to fight back against this terrorist group. The question is, is there internal pressure or enough internal pressure in Nigeria to the president there to fight back against this terror group to get the 200 girls back? John, you're right on the mark uh, with your question. Uh, initially, we didn't have strong enough pressure on the issue of Boko Haram, but uh, currently several Nigerians are demonstrating there is a lot of activity on the social media networks and also in the diaspora, in different cities, Los Angeles, Houston, New York, Atlanta, London, in order to uh, put pressure on the government to do more. But you know, more Nigerians need to express and show their outrage at the level of criminal impunity uh, that the Boko Haram is exercising. And in terms of internal pressure, the second level, which I think the government of Nigeria ought to take into consideration, is the fact that there are Nigerians and there are external interests who are funding the Boko Haram. Why should they be allowed to make the country a part of the country ungovernable? Why should the government not go after these folks in order to close and drain the swamps of fanaticism and mechanize their bigotry and terrorism? Those are issues that the government needs to take uh, into consideration quickly before there are more activities of uh, terrorism and kidnappings across the country. Dr. Nwangu, I know, and as you mentioned, it, there's other acts of terrorism. People have been killed. We know there's been other acts of violence, not just these 200 or more girls kidnapped. And I almost hate to ask this because we never want to give up hope in our children. Do you feel confident they're going to find these girls and bring them home? I am more hopeful than I am confident. Hmm. Uh, I am more hopeful than I am confident, uh, just based on the experience of uh, past efforts. Dr. Tina Nwangu, thank you so much for joining us to talk about this. Let's remain hopeful. Let's pressure as many governments as we can to provide support to the Nigerian government and pressure the Nigerian government itself to take action as soon as possible. And if you'd like to find out ways that you can actually help, you can impact the world by helping girls get an education, because we know that this is at the core of what these terrorists want to keep from happening, visit our website, tnn.com slash impact. It's a good idea. All right, ahead for us at this hour. The White House Correspondents' Dinner, always good for a few laughs, if you're invited. This year did fall short. We will be the executive producer of this year's really comedic video hit. This was funny. Hey, girl. Hey, J-Dog. 
Are you going to this dinner thing tonight? Well, hell no, I'm not going there. We've got important things going on here in the Capitol. Ooh, yeah. Okay, right. Thanks.